In this video, I will showcase the new combo box or Yugui drop-down system that's been added to the framework. It's composed of several other Yugui components, such as a panel, button, text, and scroll bar. However, instead of constructing a drop-down or a combo box from all of these components individually, this system makes it easy to create a drop-down. However, do note that it's recommended that you don't use the combo box option from the game object window. Instead, we have a prefab located in Assets, Prefabs, UI, Combo Box. The Combo Box Control Prefab is what I highly recommend using instead. Note that you do need a Canvas and Event System in order to use it. Let's go ahead and place a Combo Box Control now. Combo Box Control. The Combo Box Control is where you will modify the drop-down itself. You can specify the, the list items within the combo box list item list script. You can specify the size. You can specify what each element's name is. To modify how many options are displayed when the combo box is clicked, you'll want to modify the height. For now, let's go ahead and run this setup scene or this example scene. You'll notice that by default, the first option is shown. You can change this via script later on. When you click on it, you'll notice that there are several options along with the scroll bar allowing you to scroll through them. As I mentioned just before, if you want to specify how many items are shown below, you want to modify the height. You can do this by simply dragging the height down or specifying it here. As you can see, more items are displayed when you increase the height. If we increase the height so that all items are available, then you'll notice that the scroll bar does not appear. It is recommended that when using this, you specify the height or you tweak the, top, the height to a value that you like, and then position the combo box element. If you wish to modify parts of the combo box, so for example, if you wish to modify the text that's displayed in the combo box, you cannot actually do it from the hierarchy. This is because the text is actually a part of a combo button clone. This means that in order to modify the combo button's text, you have to go into the part prefab. This can be found in the assets, prefabs, UI, combo box, parts folder we modify the combo button text here, this is where you will actually be able to see updates. For example, you'll notice here that the text is set as a font size of 14, aligned to left, and middle aligned or vertically. But that's not actually what is displayed if we run. If we run it, you notice the text is actually centered both horizontally and vertically, and that the text size is very large which is quite different from the values specified here. This is because the combo button is simply a clone of the combo button prefab. And to actually modify text size, you must modify this prefab. If we want to align left and have a size of 14, we would modify this prefab. As you can see, now the text is much smaller and aligned to the left. If you wish to modify the scroll bar sensitivity, this can be done easily in the combo box, uh, styled combo box script. The scroll sensitivity, or how fast the scroll bar will move up and down, is specified here. If you want an option of 1, you will have a scroll bar that moves down very slowly. For an option of 10, which is the default, it moves much more quickly. I believe 10 is a good default value and recommend that you leave it at this setting unless you have a specific game requirement. Note that you cannot update this dynamically. If it is set to 10 and then you change it to 1, the combo box system no longer works. You must specify or you must do the update outside of runtime. As you can see, the combo box system makes drop downs or drop down creation very easy 
instead of forcing the user to cr to put together many UI components in order to create a combo box, this system puts them together for you and exposes public properties that make it easy to create a dropdown very quickly. Hopefully you will find this useful in some of your projects.